feeling uh, amazing. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, so that's awesome. Today we are doing questions about that you guys have sent in to us so that we can answer questions. Today's question is all about massage and pain and is it normal? So this is where I put my massage therapist cap on as well as my personal trainer's cap on and we're going to talk about pain. So yes and no is the answer to that question and it is about two things. One, understanding the difference between good pain and bad pain and two, understanding your level of pain tolerance. And I want to be clear about this thing here, which is if you are in too much pain, you have to communicate, right? And you know, I, I like to think, I say this to my clients, well, I guess sometimes I forget, but I like to think that I say this to my clients, particularly when they're new, which is I can't feel your pain, right? You know, as a massage therapist, you get pretty good at understanding when somebody is in pain because their body changes and they hold on and that kind of stuff. So you know to back off. But as the patient, as, as the client, your job there is to communicate that you are uncomfortable. Uh, because when it comes to massage, massage is about healing, not causing injury, okay? So we do want the body or the, the client's body to be in the best state possible for that healing to be coming in. Bad pain is not the right state that is conducive for healing, okay? So then that leads me to go on to talk about the difference between good pain and bad pain. Again, to be clear, these levels are your levels, not my levels. Uh, every, everybody's different and so their pain tolerances are different. So good pain <laughs> is this idea that relief is on its way or, or that we're, we're causing relief and or release in the muscle and in the tendons and you know, in the tissues in the body. Uh, so that any tension that is caught up in those tissues is being relieved. So there should be a sense of relief uh, within that pain and bad pain comes with a sense of there is harm being caused here, you know, and, and it's it comes back to this primal instinct of will I die, will I not die kind of thing. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be doomsday issue about it. I don't, I don't want to put this death label on there, but it, you know, it's, it really does come back to this, this idea of is this pain causing me harm? That comes back to life experience and understanding your body. Understanding what that pain is or if you are in pain or discomfort is not a common thing and then for other people it's an everyday experience. Using myself as an example, as somebody who plays and has played contact sports, I have very much experienced with pain and bad pain. Ru playing rugby, running in for, for somebody at full speed and you know that, that, that really hurts. But, but there wasn't this sense of impending doom so it didn't feel like bad pain, right? And then after a particular game, a couple of hours later, all the adrenaline wears off and all the, all the chemicals wear off and I'm getting pain in, in my AC joint. And I'm like, well, that, that's bad pain because what's happened in the middle of that game somewhere is my joint has subluxed and I'm losing range of motion in my joint and there's a, it's a very different pain that I'm experiencing than the pain from being hit. Bringing it back to massage and on the massage table, you know, I've, I've had massages where the therapist was maybe not being as in contact with me, the client, as they could have been. And my experience was even though I was saying that really hurts, they just kept going. That's bad pain. You know, there was no sense of care. There was no sense of, I was, I was being looked after at that moment. Uh, and there was no sense of this is causing the relief uh, in, you know but on the other side of it is I had a massage the other day I was experiencing pain and I was said to the, to the therapist you know that's that's really painful but it's okay I'm okay with it keep going because there was a sense of relief there there was a sense of blood coming back to the area and my understanding of that that's actually helping my body create relief so that I can feel better and it also depends on what type of massage you're getting, okay? If you're getting a, a hot stone massage, that should not be painful, right? If you're getting a, a spa relaxation massage, 
That should not be painful. That should be creating a sense of relief and relaxation. If you're getting a therapeutic massage or a myofascial release massage, there will be pain and discomfort. So understand the type of therapy you're getting and understand the difference between good pain and bad pain. And then communicate with your therapist about what you are experiencing and whether or not you are okay with it. Because if you, in any moment, are not okay with that, let them know and they should stop. And then we go into the whole other conversation about consent, uh, but that's a different subject, right? If your therapist does not stop when you ask them to, get off the table and leave, straight up. They, their, their job is to be there for you and help cause relief in your discomfort. Uh, but your job is to understand your body and understand what relief feels like and what discomfort feels like. Short answer, if you're getting a therapeutic massage, yes, there's pain. <laughs> but it should be good pain, not bad pain. Okay, and there's work to do there with understanding what good pain and bad pain is. So thank you for that awesome question. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, quandaries or queries about what it is that we're doing here, comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video for all those things. There's a bell or something there that you have to check too. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Love your work. Stay awesome. And we'll see you all next time.